We understand that coding sometimes can involve repetitive tasks, writing the same lines of code over and over again. You might have found yourself wondering if there is a more efficient way to address that. The answer is yes, there is. It's called the dry principle, don't repeat yourself. Today I'm going to explore the dry principle. This principle will help you to write more efficient code and to reduce repetition. So let's begin. I have prepared a small web API application. I have an entity framework context with two entities, orders and customers. And for each one of them, I have the I have the, rec the, the model, which is a record, and I have two different repository. It's a very simple implementation of the repository pattern. I'm injecting the context, and then I have create customer, get customer, and update and delete customer. Very simple implementation, and I'm using entity framework for that. And the same thing here for the order repository. As you can see, I'm injecting the context and I have create order, get order, and get the list, update, and delete order. As you can see here, I am repeating myself. My code is not dry. It's a bit of wet. So basically, I have a lot of duplicates code and the same logic I'm using here in order repository and the customer repository. So here's come the dry principle to help us eliminate that duplication code and help us do a more efficient code as well. So if we go to the models, we have also some duplication here. And I think we can also use try to help us out. If you can see order has an ID, customer also has an ID as a primary key. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to create a new class called base entity. It's going to be an abstract class. And inside of it, I'm going to have an int ID. And this will be our primary key for any entity that we have in the model. So for the customer, I'm going to have to have it implement the base entity. Yeah, let's make it a record. I'm gonna create a base entity here and I'm going to remove it from here. And in the order as well, let's inherit from base entity and remove the ID. So what we did now, we removed the primary key from all the entities that we have and move it to the base entity class here. This is one of the ways to use the dry principle. Let's jump into the repository. As you can see, as we talk about we have a lot of duplication between customers and orders repository. And it's not only about these two uh, repos. You may have a lot of different repos later on that will have the same logic. I'm going to create an interface. This interface, IEF repository, will contain all of our definitions and methods. So for that, I'm going to have it a generic interface, generic interface of type T, where T is base entity. And then I'm going to create all the methods that I need. Add, get, get async, update, and delete. Fine. So we have our interface. Now let's create our implementation. I'm going to create a class called EF repository. This class will be also a generic. It will also implement the interface IEF repository of T, where T is base entity. And then if we implement our missing classes, we'll have everything. And now I'm going to do it very quick behind the scene. OK, so what I did is I injected the context. I created the DB set where I'm setting T as the base entity for the context. And for that DB set, I'm, I was able to add, get, list, update, and delete. Very similar implementation. But the beauty is now we don't need to implement it 
every time. It's a one class that I can use now to get everything that I need. How to do that? It's very simple. Let's first, let's first add our repos. So I'm adding IEF repository of order and customer. And then I'm going to change our endpoints to actually use the IEF repository instead of the current old repository that we have. So let's say for the customer repository, I'm going to inject IEF repository of customer. Going to replace it very quick. And as you can see, the name is different because we did a generic one, but it's fine. It's basically get async. We have also get, get async by ID. We have add, update, and delete. And like that, for the order as well, we can implement the same. Let's do it very quick. Okay, so I did that. Everything is being implemented using the new uh, implementation of the repository pattern using using what we did for the try principle. And now I can run the code and simply I can create a new customer. So let's create Let's create me as a customer and we got success. And this is the user with ID one. And also I can get all the customer and I can retrieve myself. So now I can remove both of customer repository and order repository because they are duplicate now and they are not needed. And I can replace, replace them with the EF repository. And that's the dry principle for you. If you want to know more about Mapperly, you can click somewhere here in the screen. And if you want to check my blog, I will put everything in the description. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.